Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend. Today I am here with the brand new Skoda Gushak's entry level Active Peace variant. For such detailed reviews on all variants of all cars, make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share this video. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. This video is sponsored by Boodmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they offer only genuine quality components along with the cheapest and more expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Boodmo.com or download the Boodmo app which is available for Android devices and iOS as well. You can search for the required spare part in the proper category from the scrolling menu on the home screen and you can also check out the available offers displayed on the home screen as well. Boodmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Boodmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. Till now, the active variant has been the base variant of the Skoda Kushak midsize SUV. However, with the increasing costs and the semiconductor shortage, Skoda have decided to launch this new entry-level active piece variant below the active variant itself. However, there is not a lot of difference when it comes to visual appeal because both these cars look exactly the same. Just like the Active, this car also gets the non-projector halogen headlamps with the separate LED DRLs. While the front grille gets the chrome surround, this car does not get the silver finished skid plates. Similarly, on the side profile as well, this looks exactly identical to the Active as this car also provides body-colored ORVMs and door handles while also offering ORVM mounted LED turn indicators. Yet again, just like the Active variant, this Active piece also gets the very same 16-inch steel wheels with full wheel covers, while all-round body cladding is standard across all variants. These proper aluminium roof rails are also standard across all variants, whereas the Ambition and Style variant get silver-finished roof rails. Coming on towards the back, only the Ambition variant onwards, you get rear windshield wiper washer with defogger and a reverse parking camera whereas the Active Piece and the Active gets three reverse parking sensors with partial LED tail lamps. There is literally no other decorative element at the back. So that was all about the exterior of this new Active Piece variant. Let's now get inside the cabin because that is where the actual changes are. Opening the driver door of the Active Piece variant, in the first glance it looks exactly similar to the Active variant thanks to the very same black and grey colour combination. Just like every other variant, that is the standard two-spoke steering wheel, which also provides controls for the MID along with steering mounted audio controls. Being based on the active variant, this active piece also offers remote central locking in the form of a flip key. The spare key is also an exact same unit. So turning on the power, you get to see the instrument cluster, which is again exactly similar to the active variant. All the headlamp controls are on the right side of the steering wheel except for the high beam control. Now just like the active variant, this active piece also gets plain looking black seats with fabric upholstery. However, almost everybody will opt for aftermarket seat covers. That said, all variants of the Skoda Kushak get driver seat height adjust as standard along with all four power windows with electronically adjustable ORVMs. So now that we have seen all these features, let's talk about the difference. The actual difference when compared to the active is that this active piece does not get an infotainment system. Yes, you can actually see the blank panel over here. It is interesting because this car still offers steering mounted audio controls. As a result, the buyers of this active piece variant can opt for any aftermarket audio system while also easily pairing it with the factory fit steering mounted audio controls. Or they can actually enjoy the piece without any audio system. Apart from that, everything else remains exactly the same. This car gets manual air conditioning, while all variants of the Skoda Kushak get ESP traction control with hill hold along with multi-collision braking and brake assist. The tyre pressure warning system is also integrated into the instrument cluster. Next up, talking about storage spaces, all variants get the large cubby hole underneath the centre console and there is also the adjustable centre armrest with a decent level of storage capacity. While the glove box size remains exactly the same, there is no cooling function on the active or active piece. Coming on towards the roof, even this entry-level variant gets day-night adjustable IRVM along with individual LED cabin lamps for everyone. So the only difference in this cabin is the absence of an audio system. Actually speaking, this is not a bad idea at all as this car can be perfect for modifications with aftermarket options. Opening the rear door, the rear part of the cabin is also exactly identical to the active variant as all variants get individual 3 adjustable headrests along with 3 individual 3-point seatbelts for the rear passengers. 
Then there is also the rear AC vents. However, there is no charging port for the rear seat passengers, unlike the Ambition. This is how the dashboard of this Active Peace variant looks like from the rear seat. While it definitely looks basic compared to the Active, which gets a touchscreen system, fitting an aftermarket touchscreen system and connecting it to the steering mounted controls will actually complete the look. And yes, just like before, dual airbags, ABS with EBD, ESP with traction control is standard across all variants. Now let's talk about the pricing and value of this active piece. When launched last year, the Skoda Kushak's active variant was priced at Rs 10.49 lakh ex showroom. However, the price now is 11.29 lakh ex showroom for that variant. So Skoda has decided that they should introduce an even more entry level variant priced just under Rs 10 lakh ex showroom. Honestly, this is a great idea and perfect for aftermarket modifications, which a significant number of people in the market prefer nowadays. At this pricing, the Skoda Active Peace variant comes with all the essential convenience and safety features you need, while also having great potential of aftermarket modifications. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this Active Peace variant of the Kushak. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.